So tell me your name and where you're from and what you're majoring in. Okay, my name is Philip Cortez. I'm a senior from uh, Lafayette, Louisiana. I'm double majoring in classical studies and political science. And in the classics, I've got a concentration in Latin and I also have a minor in French. Latin? Come on. Why? This is 21st century Latin. Nobody speaks Latin. Why are you taking Latin? Well, I mean, I think for me, the thing about classics is that uh, it's interesting to read sort of some of these great authors and things that have influenced Western tradition in the uh, the original context. I'm reading Cicero this semester. Um, and also, I think it's just, it's a really good intellectual workout um, that sort of informs my other avenues of study. But Philip, how is that going to get you a job, man? Come on, why, why would you take that? I think Aren't your parents, that are well your parents must be <laughs> terrified. Yeah, but people that are well-educated are, are attracted attractive to, to people that are giving out jobs. I mean, you know, a, a successful classics curriculum shows that you have the, the ability to sit down and translate for hours at a time and, and follow through on your work. And so, you know, it develops skills that I think are, are beneficial in several different jobs. That's, that's great. It's interesting and, and a fun way to look at it. Yeah. So where are we now? Okay, right now we're in the bowl. It's sort of the, the central hub of campus, both in an official way and in an unofficial way. Um, it's not uncommon in the spring for students to come out here and do their homework or or play guitar and things like that. Frisbee is also really common here. Um, it sort of begins and ends a student's career here at Millsaps. On the fourth night that freshmen are here, there's a ceremony called the fourth night student in which they formally introduce themselves to the campus community here in the bowl. And that bookends their experience with commencement, which also happens here in the bowl. Um, so it's just, it's a sort of a neat way to, to commemorate your experience by beginning it and ending it here. Well, this is January. It must be actually absolutely spectacular in the yeah, spring. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really beautiful in the spring. So where are we now, Philip? Okay, the building behind me is Johnstone House, and uh, the first floor of that is the Writing Center. At Millsaps, we have a writing across the curriculum, which means that uh, beginning with the first class of the core curriculum, which is called Introduction to Thinking and Writing, students uh, are encouraged to write a lot, and um, they compose a writing portfolio that at the end of their sophomore year is assessed you have to pass a certain writing proficiency, which is a graduation requirement. Um, so there are, are writing components to most of the core classes, even in the sciences and the maths. Um, and there's also, a, at the Writing Center, there are two full-time professors whose jobs it are to sort of facilitate that writing across the curriculum. And there are also student tutors, um, which it's an on-campus job that students of any major can choose to have and um, they have sort of tutoring hours when students can go and get help with theses and stuff and their professors are notified of that to know that they're sort of on track and working towards their projects. Cool. What, um, why is writing important? Well, I mean, it, I think it's, it's part of our, uh, our liberal arts approach in the sense that if, I mean, what's the point of being educated if you can't communicate by writing? I mean, the, the point of writing is to communicate and so if we're not able to communicate what we're learning, then there's really no no purpose to learn it. Yeah, but with Twitter and blogs and and uh, YouTube and all this, I mean, why do, why do students need to learn how to write well? I mean, again, I think it goes back to being well-educated and just sort of showing that, that our degree is worth something. Um, I mean, you know, I, I want to be able to write well, and I want to, you know, I want to appear educated for my degree. What's on the top floor? This building. <laughs> the top floor is the classical studies department. Ah, oh, that's where the Latin geeks hang out. Yeah, exactly. oh, okay, <laughs> just checking. What's over here? Tell me what's uh, we're looking at over here. I uh, hear all the construction noise. These are the construction of our three new dorms. Uh, they're Charles, Susanna, and John Hall. They'll uh, they'll be series of single room suites where uh, each resident has a double bed, a, and a vanity, and a desk and a room to themselves, and they'll share. Uh, bathroom space. There will also be um, community rooms and a kitchen in each building as well as a, a laundry room. So they're going to be sort of our, our top of the end housing for juniors and seniors. Cool. So it's a campus on the move looks like. Exactly. Neat. So here at Millsaps we have you know, about 50% of the students are in, yeah. in fraternities and sororities. Why? Uh, this is a smaller place, 1,200 students or so. Mm -hmm. What's different about the fraternity and sorority life here than say at uh, Louisiana State? Sure. Well, since we only have about a thousand students, um, I think all of the Greek organizations are a little bit more inclusive because they have to be in some ways. But also, um, 
because there's sort of this cultural history here of having um, a strong influence of both academic programming and service oriented programming. And so all the fraternities and sororities have really strong philanthropies. Uh, people join for that option to have a, a way to get in with um, local organizations and things like that. So I think like those draws draw people into the system that at larger state schools wouldn't necessarily go Greek. Um, and it also just sort of facilitates social life on campus for some people um, in ways that are beneficial. And I mean, you know, there are still parties and things like that, but the, the other focuses, I think, allow people to, to have meaningful peer relationships in the context of something that's not necessarily as, you know, uh, well-intentioned in other places. So so the the parties are maybe not as wild at some place like Millsaps? I mean, I'm sure they're parties. Yeah, no, but well, I mean, they, they certainly happen, but they're... They're, I think they're put into con in a better context of, you know, work hard first and then we'll celebrate our victories and our successes as opposed to just celebrating anything. Well, and it sounds like you were saying also it's a, a, a matter of contribution. Right. That, oh, no, exactly. And involvement. Yeah, so sure. So it's a, an avenue to, to, to channel that kind of engagement in the community, right. whatever, however defined. Yeah, Does exactly. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, great. So where are we now, Philip? Right now we're in the plaza. It's a uh, it's a really popular place for um, campus events. Fraternities and sororities host their philanthropies here. Um, it's also popular for tailgating during football season. You can sort of see the the football stadium in the background. Oh yeah, the purple. Yeah, we were, and our football team has been doing really well. the uh, The past three years we've been SCAC champions, and uh, this year our quarterback for the first time ever for a D3 player received the uh, highest award that a football player in Mississippi can get. It's a pretty big deal. So cool. so um, sports are a big deal? I mean, spectating and, and participating both? Yeah, they're popular. Uh, students can go to all sporting events for free. And uh, our coaches in the past few years have really worked at, at recruiting students who can maintain their academics at a school like Millsaps, but also be successful on the field. So me. So, Philip, you know, um, kids are looking at different colleges, families are looking at different colleges. What are the things that are the most important about Millsaps, do you think, that, that I ought to be telling my clients and the other people I work with? Sure. I think the, uh, for me, the two most important things about my Millsaps experience have been um, the faculty involvement um, in both my academic disciplines. I've, I've had really in-depth research experience with professors, and professors have taken an interest in me as a student and as a person. Um, and also just the community feel of the campus. Everyone's very inviting and friendly. Um, it's really easy to make friends and, and have lasting relationships in a real way that I think is, has been really special for me. That's, um, why did it show up on your list? When you were, thinking back to when you were a uh, high school senior trying to mm -hmm. figure out where you wanted to go, why did Millsaps show up on your list? And then why, why did it become your choice? Okay, um, well I think sort of saying in the South was important to me in some ways. Um, and I was in a, a small gifted program at a large high school, and so the, the small interactive feel, the, the, um, the appeal to the liberal arts and sort of being educated versus trained uh, really appealed to me. And then upon visiting, it just made sense. I mean, the, the feel of the campus and the, the people that I met and how welcoming they were is really what drew me in. What other schools were you thinking about when you are looking oh, at Oh, gosh. I mean, I, I looked at most schools in Louisiana, um, state schools and private schools, Tulane, uh, Loyola in New Orleans, uh, the University of Louisiana, Louisiana State University, and then I looked at other small schools like this, uh, Rhodes, Spring Hill College, places like that. But this was this was the one who won your heart and yeah, your mind much. too. Yeah, great. Well, I just finished my day here at Millsaps College, and boy, you know, I love this place. I really had a great visit. The people at the admissions office pulled out the stops, but um, one of the greatest things was really talking to the students and talking to a faculty member who was not at all set up. Um, he just volunteered. I uh, ended up at his office uh, serendipitously. And, um, you know, it's very clear that the kind of education that they provide here at Millsaps is, is top notch, that it really is a super friendly place. I think for a kid who is looking for a quality liberal arts education, maybe who uh, hasn't performed at the very top of their class um, in high school would definitely do well here because they would get all this nurturing and support and really solid education that these professors who are, are very committed to 
to um, to the educational enterprise. And you know, as a as a kid who grew up in Colorado, who's lived in uh, the the Northeast, um, the Mid Atlantic. I think this is totally a cool place. I mean, this is Mississippi. This is like going to a, a completely different um, environment where everybody is super friendly. And I mean, I, I, I'm really impressed. I, I didn't think that I was going to have as great a visit as I did here at Millsaps, but all the, the hullabaloo from the Fisk Guide and from the uh, colleges, colleges that change lives, I was really borne out by my visit, and I'm really, I'm really glad I came. It's terrific.